Hello friends and welcome back to MZ Learning. Friends today I am extremely excited to show you how to install Windows 11 on the external hard drive using Mac for free. Microsoft and Apple won't allow you to do this. But if you want to test or use Windows 11 on your Mac without partitioning your Mac hard drive then this video is for you. Let me clear one thing, like my other videos, this video is also very short and to the point. So I highly recommend you, please don't skip any part of this video, otherwise, you will lose important information. So let's get started. Friends, to install Windows 11 on a USB drive using Mac, we will need three things. Windows 11 ISO file, two free softwares, and a blank USB drive of 32GB or more. First, we will download Windows 11 from the Microsoft website. It's really simple. Go to Microsoft.com, answer some simple questions, and download the Windows 11 ISO file. After downloading Windows 11, you have to download two more free software on your Mac. Number 1. Parallel Desktop. And number 2. Rufus. Please keep in mind, we will download these softwares only for temporary use, and after that, we will not need them. Rufus is absolutely free. But Parallel Desktop is basically paid software, but its trial version is more than enough for us. The link is in the video description. After downloading these two softwares, first, open the Parallel Desktop and install Windows 11 on the virtual machine. After installing the Windows, Connect your USB drive to your virtual machine. Now run the Rufus software. You can see that my USB drive is not detected in Rufus. And that's because I'm using a USB hard drive instead of a USB stick. So a simple tip to detecting your hard drive in Rufus is to press the Alt plus F keys together. And boom! Rufus detects my hard drive. We already download the Windows 11 ISO file earlier. So I click on the select button. Here let me tell you another quick tip. If you select the Windows 11 ISO file from the desktop of the virtual machine, then it will give you an error. So the correct way is to first click on this PC and go to your C drive. Now click on Users, then your username, and then Desktop. Now copy Windows 11 ISO file from your virtual machine desktop to your user's desktop. After copying the Windows 11 ISO file, select the Windows 11 ISO file and click on the Open button. Now from the Image option, select Windows to go. I would recommend you leave everything else as it is. However, if you want to change the name of the volume label, you can. Everything is OK, now hit the Start button. Now select the version of Windows you want to install. From here, if you want, you can customize your Windows installation. Otherwise, leave it as it is and click the OK button. As soon as I click the OK button, Windows 11 will start installing on my external hard drive. If you find this process slow or stuck at some point, you can open the logs and review it. The process estimated time depends on your hardware configuration. When this process is finished, close the logs in Rufus window and restart your Mac. As soon as you hear the startup sound, press the Option key on your keyboard. Just letting you know for your information. The Option key doesn't work on Apple Silicon Macs. You have to press the Power key for the boot picker screen at startup. Anyway, select the EFI boot volume and hit the Enter key. Now, it will take time to configure your Windows for first use. So friends, you can see that I have successfully installed Windows 11 on my external hard drive. But it's not working perfectly. My Wi-Fi driver is missing. Also my Mac hard drive is not shown here.
If you go into Disk Management, you'll see your Mac's hard drives listed here. Let's close it and go to Windows Device Manager. So here you can see that almost all important drivers of Windows are missing. So let's fix them. Switch back to Mac OS. Here you can see I am using Mac OS Ventura, but if you are using a different version of Mac OS, then no problem, follow the same steps. Activate the spotlight, type Boot Camp, and hit the Enter key. After Boot Camp opens, go to the Action menu and click on Download Windows Support Software. Now select the location of your hard drive where you want to save the Windows drivers. This process will download all important Windows 11 or Windows 10 drivers from Apple's website and save them to your hard drive. After downloading the drivers, save this entire folder to your USB drive. Now go back to Windows 11. Go to your USB drive and install Boot Camp drivers on Windows. After installation, restart your computer. After installation of the bootcamp, the window is working smoothly. And now I can also connect to the internet. My Bluetooth is also working. Let's check the bootcamp. You can see that my Mac's hard drive is still not showing up here. And if I click on Windows Explorer and go to this PC, you will see that the Mac hard drive is not visible here either. Don't worry, I will fix this later. First, I go to the Device Manager and check my drivers. So you can see that all my Windows drivers are installed now. My webcam is working. My Bluetooth is working, etc, etc. Let's fix Boot Camp. Go to your Start menu and open Apple Software Update. Now install all available updates. If it gives you an error, then please don't worry. Click on OK. Reopen the Apple Software Update. Go to the Tools menu and choose Download Only. Once the software updates are downloaded, you can install them on your computer. After installation, please restart your computer. Now, when you go to the control panel of your bootcamp again, you will see that the hard drive of your Mac is now showing here. This means I can now switch between Windows and Mac using bootcamp. So friends, this way you can enjoy Windows 11 on your Mac with the help of external hard drive. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions, you can feel free to ask in the comments section below. Please like and share this video for motivation. My channel is all about Mac OS and Apple. One will highly appreciate it if you subscribe my channel for more useful videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, have a nice day.